Hey, what's going on guys? The Langbang here. I have another profile for you and this is for the month of October 2018 and I'm going to go over Satellar Nights. So um, I just recently got back from the 200th YCS as you can see. I have this beautiful mat here and field center. Um, I was actually going to well, I had Satellars as a backup deck uh, for that event. Um, I'm just, you know, a casual player anymore, but um, I really do enjoy the stack, and I do think that it kind of has some merit in the current game. I'm not saying, like, it's overpowered or anything like that, but just the fact that Triver is a card that bounces cards, it's absolutely insane in itself. And the fact you can reuse your traps over and over, and then also you can use a lot of floodgates in here. So let's just go into the list. Um, <clears throat> and as I always state, um, this is rather budget friendly. Um, I'm not sure what other sort of cards you would want to add in here, um, but we'll just... Uh, see as we go along here. So uh, so you have three Dinep, you have three Unkulele, you have three Altair, and then you have two Vega. So nothing too crazy there. Um, basically, once you get to Dineb one way or another, like your entire deck is live, and then that way you can just start spamming Triver and basically just annoying your opponent and then hopefully winning the game. Um, so nothing too wild there. Um, I'm doing a low monster count because I'm using three Carded Demise, of course. I have Reborn, uh, Reinforcement of the Army, and then one Cold by the Grave. So, I just ran out of room. I had one slot left, and I'm like, eh, why not Cold by the Grave? Just so I can get my, you know, Deneb going in there. So, that's it for the spells. <clears throat> so, always have a low spell count. Uh, for the traps, three Rivalry, three Gozen, three Call of the Haunted. Three Phoenix Chain, three Alpha, three Strike, three Torrential, one Morning, and one Judgment. So nothing too crazy there, as I always say in my uh, videos. Uh, pretty straightforward. I like using these sort of traps in most decks that I, you know, assemble. Um, the Floodgates are definitely what gets you there. Um, you can't use Mistake in here like other Floodgates. You know, since Deneb basically is your win condition. You don't have Deneb, you're not doing anything. But uh, Gozen and Rivalry, you can do plays under both. Um, you know, depending on what you play against, one may be better than the other. Um, so you can either stick to light types or you can stick to warriors. And then based on whatever one you do, like you can still go into your extra deck a little bit. But, you know, then it kind of becomes kind of a stun-like deck. So... Uh, so that's it for the main board. Um, there's my nice field center that I got from the event too, so that's awesome. So here's where you could probably do some upgrades if you had some better cards. Um, I really don't see you going into Link 3s or even Link 4s very often, so I really don't even know if anything's really messing here. But I have two Hip Hoshinjin. I have a Phoenix, a Cerberus, a Proxy Dragon and then a decode talker. So decode's kind of random. Uh, I don't know how often you want to get in there, but you definitely do need some links. Otherwise, you're just stuck to your one extra link zone. So this deck definitely plays a little slower than other decks. You can't unlock multiple zones, you know, like these loop decks and, you know, things of that sort. So uh, you definitely need these just to get stuff going and unlock other zones. So I have one Baltimus or Bolt. Tamius. I don't even know how to say that, but basically, um, this is kind of a forgotten card, I think. Like, it released, and by the time it did come out, like, the deck was already pretty dead. But basically, uh, you just need two Teller Knights to make it, and then you can rank up into Triver. So, that's actually really cool. So, then that way you don't need three materials anymore. So, then you have two Triver, you have one Deltros, you have one Diamond. <clears throat> You have one Tsukiyomi, one Abyss Dweller, one Tornado Dragon, and one Exiton Knight. So this card did come back, uh, so that's rather awesome. Um, just basic utility with the uh, rank 4s. Um, so not too much to say there. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this profile. As I said, Triver is one heck of a card because once you begin to start you know, spamming, 
uh, Trevor, and then you get to reuse the Fiendish Chains that call the Haunteds, uh, which, by the way, the Fiendish Chain, I guess, could be Fogblade if you really wanted to do that, but um, I just don't have any, uh, don't know if there's any merit to actually using that one a little more. Um, but yeah, that's my uh, profile. Let me know what you guys think down below, and I will talk to you later. Peace.